How's it going? Had a bit of a nitrite spike in the aquaponics system over the last couple of weeks, so the chooks and I, very noisy before, are going to do a bit of a clip on the role of nitrites in the nitrification cycle. Uh, start at the beginning. Fish. Fish excrete, excrete a lot of ammonia through their gills, depending on the species of fish, anywhere up to 90% and with the rest coming out the other end with the solids waste. This ammonia travels in the water through to your grow bed or biofilter, depends on whether you run media-less grow beds or however you've got the system set up. And in the biofilter or the grow beds, you have naturally occurring bacteria that colonize. Now, there's two different types of bacteria here. You've got nitrosomosis that will transfer your ammonia into nitrites, and then you have the nitrobacter that will transfer your nitrites into nitrates. Ammonia is slightly toxic, uh, nitrites is extremely toxic. What happens with nitrites? When it gets to levels, the levels depend on the variety of fish, some are a lot more hardy than others, the, when they get to certain levels, pretty much all anywhere over two parts per million, you can have a toxic reaction with the fish. Uh, that basically gives them a disease called brown blood. What happens is the nitrites change or oxidize the haemoglobin in the fish's blood into methemoglobin. Methemoglobin does not carry oxygen, haemoglobin does. No oxygen getting to the cells, the fish dies. It's pretty simple. So when, the, when you get a nitrite spike, it's a pretty big deal. Um, I had one, I came down one morning, it was slowly rising. I moved some stuff around in one of the beds, pulled a cankong out, the roots were full of muck, and I think I've disturbed a large pocket of nitrites and sent it flooding into the system. But I'll get to that in a minute and I had nitrite levels at around one part per million and it ended up over the next following few days climbing up to between two and five parts per million. So as soon as you get a nitrite spike, the first thing you do is salt the system. I conveniently forgot this and went searching on my computer. I've had a few computer issues and I couldn't find it anywhere so jumped on the backyard aquaponics forum and a couple of the helpful guys there. There was Rupert, Seabear, um, Eric and Oh, someone else, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name, who told me to, don't stress, salt the system. So I salted the system to one part per thousand, actually a little bit below that, using pure salt from the pool shop. Now, what that does is, pool salt is sodium chloride, NaCl. The chloride splits away from the sodium in the system and it goes into the gills of the fish and it blocks the nitrites from being absorbed by the fish, preventing them from getting brown blood disease. So all is happy and all is good. If you have a little bit of salt in the system, the fish are gonna survive this. There are a few different ways of calculating how much salt you need. Um, I went a bit under one part per thousand. I think I put about one and 1.4 kilos into, I guess, roughly about 1,500 liters of water. Um, there's a, a little calculator, um, salting calculator on the Earthen Group website that would tell you that you don't need anywhere near as much as that. There is the two different schools of thought, so have a look for yourself, work it out. I'm no chemist, you know. I'm, I'm happy that my fish survived. So how I think this nitrate spike occurred is basically through bad bed design and the way the system was running. We had that small little half barrel constant flow bed at the back of the system where you had a dribble of water coming in one corner and a dribble going out the other. I think the water wasn't exchanging enough, which means basically oxygen poor water is sitting there, oxygen rich water isn't getting in there and replacing it. So it set up anaerobic zones or anoxic zones down the bottom of the bed with all the solids. Worked great as a solids filter. So what's happened is the, ba the bacteria need oxygen to function, so what they've done is they've stripped some oxygen from the nitrate. Nitrate is a nitrogen atom with three oxygen, stripped one of the oxygen atoms so they can survive and it's become nitrite, which is the toxic compound. I've removed a can kong from that bed because it was just, yeah, the bed was getting choked out with the plant. And I noticed there was a lot of muck on the root. So what I think I've done is I've released a lot of the nitrite into the system. So fish went off the feed, the levels were going up and down for a little while and finally put two and two together and decided to clean out that bed. I took it off the system, used a little air spear, jabbed it around in there, got all the solids moving off the bottom and flushed it out. Yeah, what came out wasn't pleasant, it was very, very stinky. So I ended up taking that bed off the system and I'm gonna do something with that later, another time, probably a Kratky style bed, but you'll probably see that. So I think basically that's the problem. I've 
created an ana anoxic or anaerobic environments within the grow beds. With the large IBC beds, you, they've actually got um, valleys as it's the, the bed on top of the sump in particular. Because it's the top of an IBC that's been cut off and flipped over, there's very deep valleys down the side and also where the lid sits in the centre that would normally be on the top of the IBC. So I think there's been a lot of solids accumulating in that. So I got stuck into that bed as well with the air spear and I cleaned that bed out as well, took it off the system. The water, the wastewater, the really disgusting stuff went straight on top of the grow beds and the cleaner flushes from later went actually into the grow beds, the wicking beds that is, sorry, to fill them up. So the water wasn't wasted, probably went through about 1200 litres to clean the whole bed out and I put it back on the system. So again, I used the air spear, worked fantastically. After all the beds were cleaned out, I've actually finally got the nitrites coming down in level. It's taken about a week now, but I've got them coming down to a position where they're between 0.25 parts per million and zero. I just basically thought I'd do this little clip just as a bit of a uh, precautionary tale. Um, be careful of the solids that build up in your beds. I'm actually thinking about redesigning the beds differently in the future when we do the rebuild and doing a bit of an addition in there so it makes it easier to clean those solids out. Another thing I'll definitely be doing is doing an improved radial flow filter. This one works, but I'm not happy with the way the solids are draining out of it, so I'll be either modifying that one or building a better one and trying to get as much solids out of the system as I can. More than enough ammonia comes out through the gills, suspended in the water to be able to feed the system as far as I'm concerned. So trying to eliminate those solids. So I'd encourage you to look into it for yourself. Uh, there's the forums around, there's the backyard aquaponics, the practical aquaponics, there's other ones available on the net. I suppose I should pretty much all stop nattering on now though and wrap it up. Uh, if I've left any holes, leave a comment in the comment section below. Any other comments, questions, suggestions, leave them down there as well in the comment section. And I do hope this has been helpful to someone out there. So, hope you all have a great one and take it easy. Catch ya. Feeding of the fish. I've opened the lid a bit so they're a little bit shy. I get over the oh, did you get wet? Oh. <laughs> Make a bit the, of a splash. Lucky the fishery lid was on. <laughs> These guys seem to be travelling alright. Little mini update. Uh, I've continued to feed the fish with the nitrite level between 0.25 and 0.5 parts per million after cleaning out the large bed. Um, yeah, slowly dropping back down to trace. Continually fed the fish so there'd be um, nutrients in the water for the bacteria to feed on to build their numbers up. And it's all dropping nicely. Ammonia is back down to just above trace as well. Not quite 0.25 parts per million. So, they will and truly finish that off. There's a couple of bits there. And there's my latest test. Ready to go. So, we'll have a quick look at that. So, this is the ammonia. The ammonia to me looks to be between 0.5 and 0.25. So, yeah, it's not, not as bright as 0.5. And the nitrites are. To me, I would say they are 0.25 or below. They actually have a bit of a bluish hue to it, more so than purple. So I'd say they're around, they'd be below if, they'd be 2.5, sorry, 0.25 or below. So, more than happy with the way the system's going. Just thought I'd do a little bit of a mini update. So, say bye fish. Oh, very blurry fish. Can I say goodbye fish? No, they're not going to. Have a good one.